Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller. Today's video is going to be a, let's see, a jewelry um, go through, I guess, of lots, all different lots of jewelry that I have purchased for my subscription boxes. Um, and these, you know, this is the jewelry that I didn't use for it. Obviously, it's still good jewelry. It's just I didn't pick it. I didn't hand pick it for my monthly jewelry subscription boxes. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about that, I'll put the link in the description box. Today is December 1st. Um, so those boxes, I'll be, I started them. I'll be finishing them and mailing them out tomorrow for those of you who are a member. So... I would like to go through this jewelry with you. Um, it is for sale, and if you would like to purchase anything, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Um, I accept PayPal, and so if you would like to purchase something and you have not purchased before, I just need your PayPal email and mailing address. Um, from now on, I think I'm gonna try to ask for for you guys to give me your YouTube name as well, just so it helps me when I'm doing my auctions. Um, if your YouTube name is the same as your real name, then that's fine. Or if obviously if you've bought from me before, um, you know, I have your information, that's fine. It just helps with figuring out who's who because a lot of people don't have the same name as their YouTube name as their real name, you know what I mean? Okay, anyway, let's... Um, so timestamp, I prefer timestamp of the item that you're interested in. Um, shipping is $5 under a pound. Over a pound or outside the U.S. is based on your location and the weight. I can hold your items till the end of the current week. Um, you just have to pay for the items and then I will hold off on shipping costs and I will calculate the shipping and everything usually Friday Saturday sometimes Sunday if I'm busy so bear with me um, check the sold list down in the comment section I always have a sold list in all my videos so please check that out and refresh it often um, since I do update it you know by the second basically <laughs> okay so first one is this J crew piece um, it is beautiful, but it does have a little bit of wear to it. It's not a lot of wear, but you know, it's, it's there. So on this side, it's a little bit, um, more, more noticeable, but I do like this piece. It is very fun. I love the neon yellow, the, with the green here, it's like a, yeah, I'd say it's a green, uh, with the gray rhinestones and the little dangly gold tone pieces. Um, there's the back. It does have an extender. It is not using it right now. So the wearable length is eight inches and then you have a three inch extender. So let's just do this one for 10. Then we have this J. Crew piece. Um, I'm a little off there. There we go. Um, this one does have some wear to the chain as well, a little bit more than the other one, but I think it's still wearable. But, you know, as you guys know, I like to point out anything and everything that I can. Um, there's your J. Crew. So this one I like also. I love the color combination of everything. Um, it's really nice. So I am going to ask... I'll just do eight on this one since it does have a little bit more wear than the other one. Um, and it's seven inches wearable and with a three inch extender, two inch extender, I'm sorry. So eight on this one. Here's another J. Crew. This one has some pretty significant wear on the chain. It's like two different colors. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's darker here, then it goes into a lighter, uh, like a normal silver color. So, you know, I don't know if anyone would want to wear this. Um, so, 
I might just ask, let me get a measurement first. It's eight inches wearable and then there's an extender. I'll just ask four on this one in case somebody wants to craft with that. But I mean, the chain is, is pretty significant, significant, significantly worn. <laughs> okay, this one is really cool. But again, it does have some wear to the chain. Um, this side is pretty okay. There's just like two links that have some uh, wear. And this side, it's like only one side has wear. I don't know if you guys can see. But um, it's not terrible, but it is present. So um, the back looks okay. All the pieces are there. I mean, the rest is nice. Uh, if you can tell just a couple of these like the one side is darker than the other i don't know why j crew jewelry uh, wears so much um it's just crazy eight inch wearable without the extender um i'll do i'll do eight on this one also just because these pieces are pretty pretty nice okay so I think that was it for J. Crew. <laughs> we have this piece. I had recently shown this on my um, jewelry auction with Kimmy. Uh, nobody purchased it, so I'm, I'm just gonna show it here. It's not sterling. Um, it's just a little hook clasp. It is two different colors. One side is silver tone, one side is gold tone. Um, oh, I forget what the name of this stone was. Either bronzite, I think it was bronzite but I think it's so pretty, especially if you love um, neutrals. And I love that one. It's like split down the center. They almost have like a tiger eye um, shine to them, like that one, you know? But um, I just think it's a really pretty stone. And it's going to be a seven and a half inch wearable. So that's gonna be a nice collar necklace. Um, it's got a nice weight to it since it is stone, but it's not too bad. And um, I'll do 12 on this one. And we have this really cool piece. I think this one is super cool. There is a little bit of wear to the chain, um, but it's not anything major. And then this is plastic um, white beads. And then I just thought this was awesome. Look at that. It's It reminds me of like a dragon like egg or something. Like these are all like the, I don't know, like a medieval type of necklace. I think it, I don't think it's glass. I think it's some type of um, acrylic or some type of plastic. It's not cold to the touch, but it is quite large. I love the bale too. The pendant itself is three and three fourths inch. And then the necklace measures in at 11 inch wearable. Um, I'll do 10 on this one since there is some wear to the chain. Uh, let me start up my pressy because I have an amethyst necklace. But first, um, I'm going to show you this one. This one's beautiful. So this is a Graziano. And it has all these rhinestones. They're a little bit discolored, but not bad. Uh, with some baguettes and like a, a grayish stone in the center. Um, and then it has this piece up here and all these little pearls do have some wear to them. There you can see it. It kind of, you know, they're kind of worn. The paint on them is kind of worn, but I mean, it looks kind of cool. Like it doesn't really look worn, but I think it is. Um, so let's get a measurement. It's eight inches wearable to here. And then it's another two and a quarter. And there is a little bit of an extender. So for this one, I'm gonna do $8. All 
All right, let's get Miss Pressy over here and I will show you this lovely lady. So my Presidium has been very testy lately. <laughs> testy, so we'll see. Yeah. See, it kind of like goes up a little further then comes back down, but it's hovering over amethyst. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to show you guys. Um, and then I didn't, I didn't think these pieces were silver. I'm just going to check them again because I don't remember, but I don't think so. We'll try that guy and we'll try the chain here. I don't know how I'm going to do this one. There we go. Try that. Oh, it is. Oh, good. Okay. I'm glad I tested it. So I don't know if these are coming up as silver because I couldn't really get a good scratch. Um, let me see. No, I don't want to like bend them. But these pieces are sterling so that's really cool let me just clean this up a little bit oh squeaky okay so this is an amethyst and some parts sterling silver oh let's check these clear stones quartz clear quartz and let's get you guys a measurement. Is the class marked? No. Hmm. Interesting. It's 12 and a half inch wearable length. Very pretty. Um, let's do 20 bucks. All right, now I have a set. So here is the necklace. Bring you guys up a little bit. Come on. All right, and then it comes with earrings. One is missing the back, but if somebody purchases this, I will, you know, I, I'll get one. I'll get a matching back. It is just um, like an acrylic, and it's silver tone. The back is nice. It's just you can see the glue marks, but it's in really nice condition. It has a little heart hang tag, but there's nothing written on it. No other maker mark. I love the elephants, it's so cute. So let's give you guys a measurement. All right, what's going on here? All right, there we go. Eight inches wearable to the pendant. The pendant is two and a half inches and the earrings are one and a quarter. Really pretty set, I love it. It's very unique. Um, it's probably supposed to emulate bone, but it's not. Um, I'm gonna ask 20 for the set. <clears throat> very cool. Okay, then I have some earrings. So let's go through these, uh, there's only a few. These, I think, are Brighton. They're not marked, but they look like Brighton design. And I don't remember if they tested as silver. Uh, Brighton is silver plated. Yes, so they are coming up as silver. So um, 
If they are brightened, then they're silver plated, but you know, like I said, they're not marked, so I really have no way of telling. I tried looking them up online. I couldn't find anything that looked like these. Um, so, but anywho, they do have quite a bit of weight to them for a little earring, they're solid. So I'm going to ask 15. Actually, let's do 12. I'll do 12, that's fine. And then, so make sure you guys are checking the sold list down in the comments section. You just scroll up this video and in the comments, it'll be the first comment always. All right, these are little earrings. These are by Judy Lee, not Cookie Lee, Judy Lee. They are clip-ons, but they're pretty cool. I mean, clip-ons are coming back, guys. But if you don't want to wear them, you can put them into your jewelry collection. <laughs> so here's Judy Lee. Um, they're like little scarabs, but it's plastic. And I will do $8 on those. Then I have these faux scrimshaw. Well, they are indented, like, but scrimshaw is like a carving. And I don't really think... This is that because these are marked Barlow. I mean, it might be, but Scrimshaw is more of like a actual carving in the in the bone, and I don't think this is bone. But anywho, this is a thistle, a gold tone, Barlow, and I will ask six dollars on these. Then I have a pair of. S.A.L. Earrings, which is a brand of Swarovski. They're little uh, hugger earrings. Now, I don't know if S.A.L. is also gold-plated because I know Swarovski, their gold is gold-plated, their silver is rhodium-plated, then they have sterling silver, and then they have rose gold, which is gold-plated as well. Um, so I'm not sure about the brand S.A.L., though. But there you go, it's right there. They're really cute, teeny little huggy earrings with crystals. And I will do $8 on these. All right, my next little bag of tricks. I wanna show you guys this one. I do believe that this is a vintage Avon. Um, I There's no markings, but I have seen this piece before and it was advertised as being Avon. Um, but I just can't, you know, guarantee it because there's no markings, but that's just what I've found. Okay, so it has the screw barrel clasp, and this is all like an acrylic, beautiful green with the marbling. And it is a 13 inch wearable length. I will ask $10 on that. I have this really cool bracelet. It's gold tone. It's like a little buckle. It's a clamper. There's no wear. I think it just needs a good cleaning. Uh, really cute. Let's see. It's nice. Let's get a measure. -y. It's about a six and three fourths. I would say we'll just do five bucks. What's in here? What's in here? See, I don't even remember what half this stuff is. Um, okay, let's look. We have these earrings. Where's the other one? Here it is. These are very reminiscent of J. Crew, but they're not. They're way more lightweight. <coughs> Excuse me. But they're black and clear. So we can just do four on those. I have an Alex and Ani. Anyone named with an H, this is for you. <laughs> and we'll just do $5.
All right, hang on. I just got to get this one situated. Sorry, guys. I don't think this is set up correctly. I'm going to have to take a look at this one. It's, it's a little messed up, so let's just move on. This is just a silver tone pair of earrings. Those are really pretty. Just do four on those. We have these cuties. These might be like a acrylic for pierced ears. They're cute. Uh, four dollars. Let's just dump this out. C. Stein. Not really sure who that is, but they're marked right there. A really pretty like matte gold tone and clear. It's, there's a little bit of wear to like the little cross right here, but nothing serious. We can do five on those. We have these, they're not marked. They are faux pearl and like a gold tone rope, $4. These are black metal with black and clear stones. These are kind of cool. So they would sit in your ear this way. $4. Ooh, I see a scarab bracelet. What's up with this? Oh, this is the, okay, I see what it is. There's a uh, safety clasp. There we go. So this one, it's just a, it's just a little weird on this cabochon. I think I don't know. There's some glue spillage and a little bit of I don't know. It's just a weird color. But um, yeah, the glue you can see the glue turning colors. Um, but it is vintage. It's got a little bit of wear. Nothing crazy. I think they're just an acrylic. It's a seven and a half inch length. And I'll just do five on this one. These are pretty. These are purple with like a plastic and a rhinestone. Really pretty. Gunmetal. We'll do four. We have another pair of little faux pearls with the uh, gold tone. Four. These are MN, which I'm not really sure what MN is, but there's very light scratching to the faux pearl. It's really, I mean, you can't barely, you can barely notice it, but with the silver, I mean, with the um, rhinestone, and we'll just do four on these. I don't know who MN is. Oh well, these are really cool. They're not marked. They're silver, like a matte silver huggy with, oops, with gold tone and rhinestones. I like these. These are pretty. We'll do four. And then these are just a plastic yellow. Come on. A little bit glittery. We'll do three dollars. Then these are oh these are Catherine Papasco Papasco. Um, this is a good brand. Why do I have them in this <laughs> bag? Um, I think I was supposed to list these, but that's okay. You guys know that I don't like listing things. So um, these are Catherine Papasco or Papasco. Um, it's a she's a really good. I mean, she brings in, her stuff brings in some good money. Um, usually, her metals are sterling. So, let's just see. Yeah. So, these are sterling earrings and like a uh, beige with some rhinestones and enamel over it. So, we will do, I mean, I can probably list these online for like 40 bucks. But I'll offer them to you guys for 15 
Okay, sterling silver. One is marked to the back. That's a super good deal, John Bonnet. Here's a JJ brooch. Come on, little guy. With the little mousy. There's a little bit of wear to the cat up here, but this is cute. Um, we'll do six on him. We have this little cutie scaredy cat brooch, JJ as well. Uh, let's do seven on that one. We have these really cool earrings. They are skulls with some rhinestones and um, faux pearls. Not marked. We'll do five. We have a triple strand faux pearl bracelet with a fold over clasp. No markings, really nice condition though. Seven and a half inch length, uh, $5. This is J. Crew. It's a long faux pearl necklace, but the faux pearls are like uh, oval <laughs> with a black cord. Uh, 19 inch wearable. You definitely probably uh, double that. So we'll do $10. Here's the loft, gold tone with these really pretty um, faceted clear beads. They almost have like a little bit of a gray hue to them. Some like basket weave, some rope weave. So that's pretty cool, got a lot going on there. 16 inch wearable, um, let's do seven. This is just a plastic beige necklace, 13 inch wearable, $5. Here is a brooch, no markings, silver tone, $4. Oh, here's another one of these necklaces, but this one's way smaller. It's only about a seven and a half inch wearable. We'll do four. Here's another brooch, no maker, with a purple glass stone, $5. Here is gold tone earrings. These are pretty big. Hoop earrings, hoop hoop, uh, two and three fourths diameter, four bucks. These are cute. Oh, these are sterling silver. Uh, Verme. Let's see. Well, let's check it out, shall we? It is. It is, it is. All right, and let's check the stones. Um, they're going past the glass line, so it might be a CZ pretty cool. They're marked on the back there. They're marked with something else, but I don't know. It's just initials and <laughs> these could be pricey, but who knows? And I'm going to ask 15. They're cute. Nice pair of studs.
this is probably guess. There's a little bit of wear to this. Rhinestones, like a double chain here. Seven, seven inch wearable. Well, seven inch length. Um, we'll just do four since there's a little bit of wear. Here's another loft. This is long and gold tone. Look at matte gold tone. We have some Rivoli's here and some AB rhinestones. It's in, it's in good condition. 16 and a half inch wearable length. We will do seven. Okay, this is a double strand. There is no maker mark. It's gold tone. It's really pretty. Faux pearls, like a grayish faceted crystal, and then these clear ones. Really nice. 16 inch wearable. Um, six bucks. glam a little locket on a silver tone chain as yeah, it's pretty heavy it's got some weight to that 11 and a half inch wearable length uh, six dollars uh, I don't really like this it looks like somebody may have replaced some stones because they don't really match and there's glue everywhere um, yeah, that's going into craft. Here's a chain. It's fairly long. 14 inch wearable. Five bucks. This has no maker. It's pretty, mother of pearl butterfly with some rhinestones. I like the chain. There is an extender. It's seven inches wearable, and then it has a two inch extender. Um, Six dollars. All right, what's left? I think we have a bunch of earrings. There's this bracelet. Let's see if it's sterling. Don't think so, but we can check. No. All right, so it has hearts and these little flowers. Uh, seven inch length do five bucks. All right, let's look at these earrings now. And I'll lay them out. So we have these. These are cool. These don't have a mark. Always check both earrings because like the Catherine Popesco, uh, only one was marked. So these are cool clip-on earrings. We'll do four on those. These are glass, ooh, cool, four. Make sure you guys check the sold list down in the comment section. If you guys want, I'll do a deal on all these earrings. Uh, buy three, get one free. All right, so every fourth one, it will be free. These are like a cloisonne style, four dollars, three dollars, Um, three, because there's a little bit of wear. Ooh, these are cool. These are like a faux gold stone. Wait, oh, that's one earring. Here's the other one. 
They're clip-ons. They're pretty. $3. We have these danglies. Really pretty for New Year's. 4 We have these lever backs. 3 We have these silver tone. Oh, is this scratched? No, it just has a little bit of nieta on it. <laughs> Uh, but this stone is kind of glued crooked. You know what? We're going to put those in craft. We're not going to deal with that. Okay. Then we have these gold tone with the boat. $3. Oh, look. We have a little brooch. A little brooch. Green and clear rhinestones. $3. And then we have these little... Ooh, are these turquoise? Are they silver? They're not marked. Let's check them. If I can hold this here. They look more like a Sleeping Beauty uh, turquoise, if anything. They're not sterling, so they're probably not real turquoise. So we'll just do four on them, and if they are turquoise, well then you win. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up if you would be so kind. I appreciate each and every one of you. You can subscribe right down here if you haven't yet. It is free. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and we will see you in the next one.